Hi guys, let's talk about sunscreen today. This is the one, y'all. Let's talk about Banana Boat Light as Air SPF 50 Plus Sunscreen. I originally heard about the sunscreen through a YouTuber called Abby Young, who makes a lot of great sunscreen videos. She also makes a lot of videos about beauty, about hair, about makeup. So if you're interested, please watch her videos. I love her. I'll link her down below in the description. She claimed that this sunscreen really lived up to its claims of being light as air with weightless protection and quick absorbing, non-greasy, and immediately I was intrigued. My interest was piqued because while I can live with sunscreens that are typical, tacky, greasy sunscreens, I'd prefer not to. Now, do I think it lives up to the claims? Watch more to find out. I originally purchased the sunscreen to be a body sunscreen, but since I've started using it, I've also used it as a face sunscreen, so I can attest to that. Now, let's get started. First, I'm gonna talk about the pros and then the cons, then I'm going to give you my overall opinion would I repurchase? We shall see. Let's talk about the pros of the sunscreen. One thing I like about the sunscreen is the texture. Oh, I'm gonna start out with that because that is, for me, the best pro about the sunscreen. The thing I like most about the sunscreen is the texture. It is, I mean, it claims to be light as air and it's not as if I have nothing on my skin, but it feels just as if I've had, or I've put Cetaphil on my skin, or Vanny Cream Lotion. It feels like a normal lotion. It doesn't have that overly oily, overly tacky body sunscreen feeling. So for that reason, I love this sunscreen. Another reason that I like this sunscreen is that it's water resistant. It claims to be water resistant for 80 minutes and that just gives me this heart comfort that it'll last on my skin a little while longer even if I'm, you know, even if I forget to reapply one time or if I sweat, God forbid, you know, that happens in the summer, at least for me. I'm quite a sweaty person, so yes. I like that about the sunscreen. Um, another thing I like about the sunscreen is the fragrance. Now, if you are sensitive to fragrance, if your skin is sensitive to fragrance, I would avoid this because it does contain fragrance. Um, however, that said, if you are not sensitive to fragrance, this has a very nice light fragrance. It does fade after a while, so it's not super strong, it's not overbearing at all. It smells to me like a tropical fragrance, kind of like bananas, kind of like papayas or mangoes or something like that. Um, and it makes application and reapplication of this product really nice to me. I really don't like applying or reapplying sunscreens that smell bad. And so it just gives me an extra motivator to use this. Another thing that I like about the sunscreen is that it works for my face. I use this on my face a few times, just out of convenience, and it didn't irritate my face at all. Um, it didn't burn my face. I didn't apply it close to my eyes, so I cannot attest to that. I only applied it, you know, around the rim of my eyes, avoiding my eyes because I know my eyes can be quite sensitive, so I didn't use that, I can't say anything about that, but for the rest of my face, it worked really well. One thing about that is, however, that if I used it and rubbed it in and continued to rub it in and continued to rub and rub and rub until it was like really like, like stuck, you know, like if it's already been rubbed in and I keep rubbing. I do feel a slight grittiness to the sunscreen and it I'm thinking it might be because there's like powders in it or some sort of material that makes it weightless and makes it more matte but 
I'm not sure about that. I just know that if I rub it in too much, it does have that slight grittiness. So I just remembered to not rub it in too much to when it's still very movable um, and liquidy. I apply thin layer and then I let it be to dry. Um, that's just how I use it. That's how it works well for me. So yes, those are the things I like about the sunscreen. Now, what I don't like about the sunscreen is that slightly gritty feeling that I get if I rub it in for too long. It's not extremely irritating for me, but if you have very sensitive skin, it might be irritating for you. Um, if you do really rub in your sunscreen. Um, and honestly, that's the only con that I can think of about the sunscreen. Overall, I think this is a fantastic sunscreen. I really love the texture of the sunscreen and I really, I would repurchase this just because of the texture um, and the fragrance. It makes it extremely bearable to reapply and yeah, recommend. Now, let's get into the application. Hair up, let's get started. So I'm going to be applying a little bit on my face and a little bit on my arm just to show you both. I'm going to start with my face. So, ooh, it's kind of hard to squeeze out now because I'm almost to the end. But Okay, this is the texture. You can see how it rubs in. Ooh, I forgot my glasses. So right now it's still very easy to move around my face and I don't feel any of that grittiness. I'm spreading an even layer across my face and as you can see I'm not putting it too close to my eye, I just put it up to my eyebrow um, and that's all. Now it's starting to feel slightly gritty. so. I'm going to stop and let it dry like that. I'm going to put some on my neck. Don't neglect the neck, y'all. Ooh, it's getting really low. Okay, let's see if I can get some for my arm. There you go. Oh yes, another thing I forgot to mention is that there's no white cast because this is a chemical sunscreen. Oh, I just got it close to my eye. Oh, I forgot about it. I'm just gonna let it dry so it doesn't get into my eye. <laughs> ah! We'll see what happens. So this is what it looks like on my skin. So, would you try the sunscreen? Let me know in the comments below. If you like sunscreen and sunscreen reviews, please go ahead and click subscribe to my channel. I love sunscreen and I like to talk about it and review it and apply it for you guys. And also, I like to make videos about money, about shampoo bars, about um, many things. Sometimes very random things. So I'm sure we could find a similarity. 
All right, please like and subscribe if this video helped you out, and I hope you guys have a good day.